Barzi Season 1 Episode 8. Spoilers ahead watch out and take care. Michael got an information that the artist accepted an offer given by Doshi. Virus just realizes that Sunny has deleted the eavesdropper on Megaphone. He doesn't understand Sunny because he has cheated and also loves Mega officially. Michael and Rick had divorced, although this is not what he wants. Might have asked Sunny not to get into trouble. Even though now he is rich because he has nightmares, that bad thing will happen to him. Michael discusses the plan to capture Sonny by mobilizing all his members who will be scattered at various points close to the meeting location. Sonny then came to the basement with a silver car while fire hose drive a red car, and the money in it. Meg assigned by Michael to the meeting location, driving a white car from distance. Sonny saw the white car as the party who would buy his counterfeit money because the distance was too far. Sonny did not can see clearly, even though Mega who was in it. Sonny will try to ensure this transaction is safe. Meanwhile, Mega decided get out from her car because she didn't see any movement from the perpetrator. Suddenly Sonny saw Mega and realized this was a trap. While Mega couldn't see clearly that Sonny, who was in the car, Sonny decided to go and was immediately chased by Michael's team. He managed to escape, then got into the fiery's car. When they will go Michael block them. Sonny claims to be a janitor while Michael shows his gun. When his confidant found that silver car empty, Michael intending to prevent Sonny from leaving, but he is immediately escaped. The chasing between them ensued. The forces chase Sonny and Firaz in the midst of severe traffic. Dozens of police back and forth chasing them. Very ridiculous. Fortunately, the situation of the street back to normal because they don't want to end up in this prison. This is what they do. Much of counterfeit money deliberately scattered on the streets so that residents scramble with each other and cause crazy traffic. Suddenly, Sonny loses control until his car overturns. Residence comes again to take those flying money. In that moment, Sonny and Firoz leave and Michael failed to catch them. The news about counterfeit money being stopped on the streets went viral all over India. The people who got the money are certainly happy because the money was considered genuine because it could pass the detector machine. After the Prime Minister scolded him for this mess, instead, Michael plans to publish Mansur to news media to restrict his movement. Mansur was shocked because he has become headlines in India. Meanwhile, Sonny and Firaz hide in a small rented house. Sonny and Firaz worries if Mansur will kill them because of this problem, even though the police do not mention them in media, but still feels that his identity has been recognized by the authorities. Their fate has been completely destroyed. For make sure his identity is still safe or not, Sonny comes to Magu's house to invite her to relax. He sees Magu's laptop lit up containing journals related to counterfeiting money because she claimed to be busy, refused Sonny's invitation, and then Sonny contacted Jamal because of lost those money. Mansur was very angry with him, but Jamal will still arrange a safe house for Sunni and Firas. Allocation in the Middle East Mansur got an order from Superior to move those counterfeit money. In fact, Mansur is in an unsafe condition due to the threat of extradition, and his wanted list stands as the most wanted person and his organization does not want to protect Mansur anymore because the risk is too great for his business and organization. Mansur orders Jamal to finish off. Sonny and Faraz cheated, then ordered to return to India today. The team tried to identify Sonny's face using an algorithmic sketch aided by Michael's memory. Because he had seen the culprit, Jiddu and Jamal picked up Sonny and Faraz to bring to the safe house. Sonny feels something wrong with them arriving at a location. Sonny and Faraz will be executed but suddenly unease and this group of gangsters come to save them. It turns out that Sonny had prepared this plan because he realized Mansur would kill him. After leaving Sonny immediately contacted Yasser to take his grandfather out of town, but his form could not be reached on these, then put them in the rented house and gave Sonny a gun. Soon Yasser gave bad news that their printing house had been burned down while his grandfather was inside. Sonny was really shocked and didn't expect what happened to his grandfather. Anis came back with bring train tickets so that they immediately left the city. Sonny asked Firas to leave first and promised to catch up with him. He takes the gun given by Arnie's for revenge. While Sonny's facial identification process was still in progress at night, without any doubt, Sonny immediately shot Jamal because he believed he was the one who burnt his printing house on Mansur as orders sneaked into a warehouse. Sonny killing one by one. Mansur his confidants. Sonny were overwhelmed when facing him. When he took gasoline, Sonny saw G2 trying to run away after being shot. He was forced to open the door of his money warehouse with his phone. Sonny had a video call with Mansur. That's when Sonny doused these off counterfeit money with gasoline and set them on fire as revenge for killing his grandfather. Sonny threatened to hit him down wherever he goes. Mansur did not expect the results of his work to end up to be dust. And after that, the movie is end.
subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.